Hello, and welcome to Buddhist Store Global's Weekly News Review. I'm Justin Whitaker, Senior Correspondent for BDG, speaking to you from our offices in Hong Kong. In this week's news, the Buddhist Kingdom of Bhutan has welcomed the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on a two-day visit. Modi concluded his second official visit to the secluded Himalayan nation, made at the invitation of Bhutan's Prime Minister, Dr. Lo Te Sering, and aimed at strengthening bilateral ties between the two nations. Tsering held a wide-ranging talks with Modi, seeking to deepen partnerships across se several developmental sectors. During the brief tour, 13 programs were covered, 10 memoranda of understanding were signed, and the recently completed 720 megawatt Meng Dechu hydroelectric project was inaugurated. Modi also emphasized the common ties between the people of the two nations and their spared sp shared spiritual heritage. After Modi's arrival, he was granted an audience with His Majesty the King in the throne room of a boat Buddhist monastery, fortress, and traditional seat of the civil government in the capital city, Timpu, where the two exchanged views on taking the Bhutan-India partnership forward. In the United States, Texas has welcomed Tibetan Buddhist monks offering lessons on impermanence. Tibetan monks from the Drepung Losa Ling Monastery in southern India returned to Houston, Texas from the 14th to 18th of August to lead a Mystical Arts of Tibet program at the Asia Society Texas Center. The public had an opportunity to witness a variety of spiritual practices that have been part of Tibetan culture for hundreds of years. Perhaps the most notable of the practices was the construction of a sand mandala, which kicked off the program in a beautiful opening ceremony. After creating an intricate design, the monks took great pains over five days to lay out millions of grains of multicolored sand using metal funnels. At the end of the visit, the monks performed a ceremonial dance and then proceeded to destroy the mandala by running a paintbrush through its center, illustrated the, illustrating the impermanence of all life and compounded phenomena. Dujum Yangtze Rinpoche visits Moscow and Kalmykia. His Holiness, Dojum Yangtze Rinpoche, a Lama in the Nyingma tradition of Tibetan Buddhism, is visiting Moscow and the Republic of Kalmykia from 12th of August for, through the 1st of September, his first ever visit to the Russian Federation. During his trip, he will bestow empowerments and oral transmissions, and he will give teachings mainly according to the Dujum Teresar lineage of the Nyingma School of Tibetan Buddhism. Additionally, he will give oral teachings of two Dzogchen texts of the renowned teacher Longchenpa. The teachings were requested by the Russian community of Dechen Daki Ling and the Association of Buddhist Communities Arya Sangha. On the 28th of August, he is scheduled to consecrate Origin Samye Ling, the first Nyingma monastery in Russia. Dojom Yangtze was born in 1990 in the traditional region of Kham in eastern Tibet and was recognized as the incarnation of the previous Dojom Rinpoche, who was born in 1904 and died in 1987 in France. The National Museum of China is hosting an exhibit of the extensive collection of ancient Buddhist figures. The National Museum in Beijing is hosting an extensive exhibition of hundreds of Buddhist artifacts excavated at Yeqing, an imperial city of the Northern Qi Dynasty, which lasted from 550 to 577 in Hebei Province. The exhibition, titled Peaceful Coexistence, highlights the development and decline of this center of Buddhism in Northern China. A total of 171 cultural relics are on display, including 131 Buddhist statues, mostly from the Northern Wei Dynasty, which existed from 386 to 534. Most of the relics are made of painted or gilded white marble. An official from China's Institute of Archaeology said visitors to the exhibition can witness the crossover of Indian and Chinese styles of Buddhist art as Buddhist culture spread from India to China. The peaceful coexistence exhibition at the National Museum of China is open to the public until the 6th of October. Finally, Buddhist auto lovers rejoice. The Dalai Lama's 1966 Land Rover is up for auction. The personal Land Rover of His Holiness the Dalai Lama will be auctioned off by R.M. Sotheby's in the United States later this month. Registration for bidding is open 
and the auction will run from the 29th of August through September 1st. The vehicle, a 1966 Land Rover Series 2A on an 88-inch wheelbase chassis, was never driven by the Dalai Lama himself, but was used to help him travel the rough roads of northern India from 1966 to 76. The vehicle was built in England in February 1966 and delivered immediately to Nepal. In 2006, it was fully restored in the United States and auctioned in 2007, alongside a meeting with actress Sharon Stone and private teachings from the Dalai Lama. Initial bidding for the auction is set at 100 to 150,000 US dollars. That is all for this week's BDG News Review. Be sure to check out our website, BuddhistStore.net, for these stories along with special features and coverage of Buddhism around the world.